Hey, welcome to Bargain Bikes. We got a good one today. We got a seven speed Kent Bayside Cruiser with a cup holder, black handlebars, some classic feel with the brown uh, hand grips and seats. Um, this is a seven speed cruiser, has really big tires, nice emblem up front, equipped with Shimano, great pedals, nice crank. Um, love the rear fender has all the deflectors on it here's that 7 speed derailleur made by Shimano does have a, a flat tire Bayside cruiser like I said 7 speed it has a missing nut on the bottom of the seat which can be annoying there's some interest in this bike so we're going to peel the tag and check out and uh, we're going to take it home and check out the rest of the bike but this is just a quick little update, and then we'll get home and fill you in on the rest. Welcome to Bargain Bikes. Anyway, we went through this Kent, and uh, we realized we have a flat tire. So we're going to replace the, the tube in it. And we grabbed the $5 made by Bell, 26 inch. It goes all the way up to 2.25. 1.75 so exactly what we need let's bust this rear tire off real quick now there's gears on this on this so we have to be careful but uh for the most part it should be pretty self-explanatory Not too bad, just bust it the back to uh, nuts off here. Shouldn't take too long. There's one nut. There's two nuts. Kind of lay the bike. There we go. Kind of lay the bike down. Ooh, somebody used slime. Try to cover that up. What I usually do, the tire's kind of loose, so I just kind of reach in there and kind of pull it all off. There it is, right there. Yeah, they use slime, so consider ourselves slime for today. It's probably why it was at the thrift store because somebody probably thought this thing was going to start nickel and diamond on probably and they were over it so they were like let's cut our losses probably get a new bike so I just kind of feed it in there all the way around Not too bad. Remove the valve stem uh, cap. 
come over here. Kind of put it back on the rim here. There we go. Put the cap back on. You don't want to pinch the tube, so just be very careful. Work it around. Try not to pinch that tube. Now we can kind of feed it back in. Try not to make it too tough on ourselves. Try to turn it upside down. See if that makes things a little easier. Anyway, we got the tire on, tubes changed, we'll add some air here, we'll make sure the tire stays seated, but overall, this was a $49.99 bike at Goodwill that needed a new tube and a nut on the seat. We've gotten home here and we've done these little projects to, uh, you know, get this bike ready for a nice little flip. The goal is to make some money here and to buy low and to sell high. Some of you are interested in this kind of stuff. And uh, I'm just showing you some of the physical things you got to do when you get home to get these bikes ready to go and into a new home where somebody will enjoy it more than, you know, well, like I do picking the stuff, you know, about the same level of enjoyment. Anyway, we're down to the last two nuts here. We'll tighten them up. We'll add some air to the tire. But uh, for the most part, pretty self-explanatory from this point on. Um, Seven-speed Kent bike. We got a $10 off coupon. We got 10% off as well. $35. That's what we got this bike down to. A $5 tube um, brings it back up to 40 the goal is to uh, list it, you know, somewhere uh, in uh, like maybe one fifties or something, and you know, go from there. Here we go. We're gonna add some air here. Make sure your tire stays seated, and uh, yeah, it's looking good. Anyway, if you like what you're seeing and you want to see more, please subscribe. Until the next one. Thank you.